How do you guys? Are you looking for some elegant Notepad++ theme, which is easy on the eye as well as a productivity booster? Then stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to show you as well as walk you through the installation of my top three Notepad++ themes. So why a Notepad++ theme? If you're someone who stares at Notepad on your screen for a long period of time, day in, day out, then it becomes very important to get a balanced color profile for your Notepad apart from your desktop to keep your eyes healthy. Secondly, productivity and efficiency. So having a good theme does boost your productivity and efficiency, no doubt about that. Next, what are our theme options? Well, by default, Notepad++ does provide a couple of good themes like uh, Bespin, Obsidian, Solarize, Twilight, which are good enough. And then there are third party options like uh, Dracula, Dark Material, Neon, and many more. But guess what's a little difficult apart from finding the right theme? is the fonts. So there needs to be a good balance between the theme and the font. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through the installation of my top three Notepad++ themes along with their fonts. So let's get cracking. Our work here is divided into two parts, font installation and the theme installation. So let's start with the installation of the fonts first. Now the choice of fonts is the most important and tricky part because without the proper fonts or a balanced fonts, any theme wouldn't deliver any value. And here is the secret recipe for editors like uh, Notepad++ or command line tools. Always go for monospaced fonts. Monospaced fonts look best in command line tools and editors like Notepad++. They are the best choice for these kind of tools. So here are my top four monospaced fonts. And the first one being Cascadia. Now, just before you download and install the Microsoft Cascadia, a little note about this. There are a couple of variants of this font. First one being Cascadia Code, which is the standard version of Cascadia, then Monospaced. And then there is a Cascadia P11 for powerline symbols. This version basically includes uh, symbols which are called glyphs. Since our requirement here is uh, concerning the Notepad++, we will go for Cascadia Mono. Now, apart from the Cascadia variants, a uh, little note about file extension you need to use. Uh, th these fonts can exist in following formats. So since we are installing on Windows, we will go for a TTF format and a TTF variable in specific is the best suited for our need here. So let's uh, head on to the release section and download the zip file from here. Let's unzip this. Let's navigate to the TTF folder. And as mentioned, don't go for the static ones. We will be installing the following ones. Though I need only Cascadia Mono, but I'll still install all these. Installation is very simple. Either you double click them or right click and say install. Or even a simpler method is navigate to your C drive, Windows, and there's a folder fonts. And you can just drag them into this folder. This would complete the installation of Microsoft Cascadia font for us. So this is done. Let's uh, clear out this folder before we go for downloading the second font. Now let's navigate to the next font, which is Fira code. Let's download this one. Same process. Unzip. Unzip and install. Go for the TTF folder. And just drag them into your fonts folder. Here you go. So Fira code fonts installed as well. Let's uh, delete the leftovers. And let's head on to the next font. So the next one is Meslo from Nerd Fonts. So let's go to the release section. And now we get to Meslo zip, which is here. And click to download. Let's 
done and let's install Meslo as well unzip strike let's uh, sort them with the name so we are interested in Meslo L bear in mind because we are on Windows so we'll go only for mono Windows compatible so which is Meslo L mono Windows compatible but in my case I'll be installing the complete Windows compatible as well just this one so let's start selecting and that's it so let's drag them in the fonts folder done and let's clear them out let's delete all the leftovers now the last font is the Roboto Mono let's download the family from here and let's uh, extract and install just select these two and drag them into your fonts directory done so this was the last font so we have installed total four fonts which will be best suited for our notepad plus plus themes let's close these clear the leftovers so with this we have completed our font installations and now we'll be heading for the themes all right since we have installed the four fonts of our choice we'll move on to installing the themes now and i've got a choice of three favorite themes the first one being Notepad++ and it's called Too Dark. So let's download this. Download the zip. And extract. And now let's import this into our Notepad++. So for doing that, you need to go to your app data. App data roaming and you will find Notepad++ here. And there's a folder called themes this is where your theme xml files are stored so all we need to do is just copy the theme xml's into this directory in your app data let's do this to dark copy paste. so that's our first theme done let's uh, get rid of leftovers and move on to our next theme which is visual studio 2015 dark theme this is again an awesome theme so let's download the code extract and same thing open up the themes directory in app data and copy this xml and the last but not the least is our theme called mariana so again let's download it and let's extract it and copy to our app data directory is the XML done so now we have completed the theme import as well for all our three themes and the four fonts so let's uh, close all this and now let's relaunch our notepad all right before we load our new themes let's open up some uh, some dummy files so we can see how does a new theme look like so let's open a few from the history. Now let's change the theme from the set, go to settings, style configurator. And you should try the first one is, let's try Mariana. And this is how it looks. As you can see, as soon as we choose the Mariana theme, uh, the font changes to Fira code because that's kind of inbuilt. You can change this further. So click on default style. Or other children, let's change, uh, let's keep it Fira code and just reduce the font size. Looks better. Java. And now let's try. If you want, you can combine uh, the other fonts which we downloaded uh, into Mariana. So let's uh, try Cascadia. Cascadia Mono. And now you can see the look and feel. Looks good. 
and then you can try we've tried Cascadia, Fira, let's try Meslo let's try Meslo can you can reduce the size if you want and let's try the last font which is Roboto go to mono this is how Mariana would look this is this now let's try the next theme which is Visual Studio and by default Visual Studio attaches itself to consolas or well, we can change this let's try Cascadia Mono so you have to select the default style now change Cascadia Mono it looks better next one try Fira and similarly you can combine all those four different fonts which we downloaded into each of these themes let's try Roboto make it 11 All right, let's cancel this and let's try the last one, which is my favorite one, Too Dark. Again, you can combine it with, uh, I think it will go with Meslo. Similarly, you can try different options uh, with all these three themes. You can combine them with all the four monospace fonts that we downloaded. I'm personally currently using uh, two dark theme with the Meslo font. So that's all guys. Hope you have a productive time with the Notepad++ and hope you like the videos. That's all for now. Bye-bye.